Thought I'd make a little update video on how things are going with the 3D printer. Really having a lot of fun with it and having a lot of fun with Fusion 360 and CAD. Uh, I've been teaching it myself, um, I guess for the past four or five months now, and I'm really starting to get the hang of it and re really, really picking it up. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things I've been working on and uh, an intake manifold project I'm actually working on. So I was really busy this weekend and I ended up printing a bunch of pretty cool stuff. Um, so all of the Volvo white block engines are actually modular, um, meaning that uh, pretty much every cylinder is uh, exactly identical and all they do is either add or subtract the cylinder. So I actually sketched up a um, five cylinder exhaust manifold flange, it's about three eighths inch thick. And I also made the six and four cylinder variant and they came out really nice. I printed this on the stock PLA filament that came with the printer. And then both of these are Hatchbox uh, PLA. Got this off Amazon for $20 a kilo. And I also decided to print a little uh, oil plate adapter. So that actually goes in the oil pan and also a uh, angle downpipe flange. So I'll bring these, these three out uh, to the garage right now and I'll show you guys a little bit um, how they fit and whatnot. So this is my Darton engine. Um, I still really haven't fully pulled it off or pulled it apart. I got the head off and the oil pan, but I threw it back together just for some mock-up purposes. But this guy is right on. And you can see it lines up literally perfectly with all the ports and all the bolt holes and everything. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, I'm probably gonna get these water jet cut and then I'll probably be offering these for sale. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I brought this out because I don't have anything to test this on, but I also made a oil cooler adapter plate and this just bolts on right there. And that allows you to, um, you know, run 10 a.m. Uh, oil cooler lines with an external cooler instead of using the Volvo heat exchanger um, that uses the coolant. And obviously, these are just for mock-up purposes. I'm obviously not going to run uh, plastic on my engine. Um, these I can get water cut as well. I can get this plate water cut. And then these are some 10 a.m. bungs that I just threw up and I, I made up in CAD real quick. Um, I'm actually probably just going to do weld on uh, 10 a.m. bungs. So this will be a flat plate, plate uh, water jet cut. And then I'll weld these on. Um, but yeah, these are actually these are really fun to make the 10 a.m. bunks. Um, uh, they actually screw on to 10 a.m. fittings and, and seal up and everything. So that was pretty fun. But um, I'm starting to work on a manifold. So I'll show you guys some of that right now. So here's a little project I've been working on with my new 3D printer. This is a five cylinder intake manifold with injector bung flange that I designed in Fusion 360. And pretty good fitment. Pretty impressed with it. Um, I gotta work on the area over here. I think what I gotta do is kind of S-snake this runner over here because of the clearance issues with the thermostat housing. I kinda see it here. See, it might need to do something like that. But, I don't know, it looks really good so far. The port shape and everything is pretty spot on. See, it lines up pretty well. And then if we take a look at where the injector is shooting, see it's pretty much shooting right, right in the middle of the port, which is perfect. So I'm going to keep playing around with this and uh, start working on a couple designs and I'll start showing my, uh, my road of uh, building this thing. All right, so I got that new runner bolted on and I've been going through so, so many revisions trying to get this area right because this is the most critical area. All the other uh, ports, there, there really is a ton of room right here, you know? So, you know, I've been printing all kinds of stuff, chopping stuff up. You know, I got this one, I got this one, I got this. This is an extender piece I made to kind of see what's, you know, how to, what's going on here. But I'm really, really happy with this design. And I think I'm going to go with this um, small dog leg design for all five of the cylinders so that they have the equal um, port space. So that one's not closer to the other and they both have, or they all have plenty of room for, you know, velocity stacks. And... Um, where is it? So this guy, like I said earlier, I tried tapering this down from the D shape to a two inch, um, pipe. Um, I can do that for this as well. If, you know, if I want to sell just flanges and whatnot. Um, but for my version, I really want to keep the D port shape because I really want to create a, um, you know, a nice D port shaped velocity stack built into the, uh, into the actual intake plenum. So I think that's what I'm going to start working on now in CAD. Um, now that I have this designed, I think tonight I'm going to print all five of them. Uh, probably put the injector bungs back in. Kind of see what I'm looking at room-wise for the plenum. Um, 
So basically, you can see that's kind of the room I have to work with um, in order to avoid this PS pump. So maybe this might have to go over a little bit more. Probably not, though. I think I can get away with it. Um, just putting a little extension on this. You can kind of see what I'm working with. So I, I think there should be room for, for a plenum there because I'm going to have the plenum kind of curve around like this. You know, just like it kind of does on that one. And there's a decent amount of room on here. But worst comes to worst, I'll change this from a 10 millimeter offset to a 15 millimeter offset and gain a little bit more room without having to sacrifice too much of, you know, the port uh, having to S shape and, and dog leg like that. So that's where I'm at right now on this thing. Um, yeah, gonna, gonna keep plugging along, try and design a plenum and uh, keep you guys updated. Another project I wanna work on is creating a, uh, a dry sump. Um, so I'm probably gonna pull this pan off at some point. It's already off, I just have like two bolts holding it in. I gotta ship, I gotta get this uh, engine to the machine shop too to get my uh, to get my bores fixed up. But I wanna try creating a dry sump adapter plate as well as a oil pump block off plate because I've been considering going the dry sump route and um, it would be really cool to have those those uh, two, um, you know, two designs in my pocket for if I ever want to whip them out and go dry sump on this engine. Um, especially now that the engine's out, it's really easy to take measurements on both the oil pan and the uh, oil pump and whatnot. So going to be some cool 3D printing and design stuff coming up soon. So I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop and show you the whole process. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really having fun with this 3D printer and I'm really having fun, you know, designing my own parts, being able to print them and, you know, have them come to life. Um, probably gonna have to figure this actually isn't the thermostat um, I run mine I actually cut and welded on a 45 because as you can see when you put this in you kind of might run into issues with the plenum clearing this um, but honestly I'll probably just end up creating one of these um, in CAD and, and doing a billet one or something so yeah it's kind of the plan so until next time I will keep you guys updated on this intake manifold and, and what's going on